they do give you some kind of instant cachet or mystique, carrying something around that your grandfather might have used. In other words, there's, there's a romantic element in all of this. I'm Butch Delisai. I'm a professor of English and creative writing at the University of the Philippines. I write for a lifestyle column for the Philippine Star. And basically I write books, uh, stories, plays, biographies, histories, and, and, and so on, which uh, finance uh, all of these things. I, I started collecting fountain pens back in, in graduate school in the United States around the mid mid to late 1980s. So I've been doing this for about uh, 30 years now. I started with vintage fountain pens. My collection runs to about 200 pens, half of them vintage, half of them modern. This is a pen called the Parker Big Red. It's not red, it's orange, but everybody calls it the Big Red. And this kind of set the template for fountain pens for for many decades. This is the classic, iconic, uh, uh, vintage fountain pen. This is a 1938 Parker Vacumatic. It's very old, but looks, still looks new. Uh, this is the pen that I wrote a short story about, called Penmanship. In, in pen collecting, we speak of holy grails, or grail pens, and this is one of them. It, it was the biggest Parker Vacumatic of its kind. It's, 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 quite, it's quite rare and valuable. This other pen is called uh, a Mont Blanc uh, Ernest Hemingway. It's a limited edition and all that, but it's basically a, a very pretty pen. I never thought I would, I would, I would, I would get this. I, I, I don't even want to tell you how much this costs because it's, it's just out of this world. I'm 61 now, and I figure I have about maybe 10 good years left. And I would like each one of those years and each one of those days to be a happy one with, uh, with a nice pen in my pocket. It gives me a lift uh, you know, wherever I go to know that I have this special something in, here in my pocket, and I can doodle with it anytime. I also carry a small notepad with me where I do my doodles like this. They mean absolutely nothing. There's nothing in there but chicken tracks, but this is what keeps me sane and happy. And before you know it, you have, you know, you have some kind of an artwork going on. None of this will be worth anything in the long run, but I just play. Again, I'm telling myself, uh, I have to dispose of but maybe about half or three-fourths of these within the next five years or so, but uh, I'll just hand over like the, the best 20 or 30 to my daughter, and she'll keep them for me. So I'll keep the best ones for her. This is a cup full of pens that I keep at my bedside. So these are my go-to pens. In other words, when I wake up in the morning, I'll pick a couple of them up, depending on my mood, and put them in my pocket. And, and, in pen collection, uh, the bigger and fatter, the better. It's like my pen is bigger than yours. You know, the handwritten note or letter is, uh, is a luxury these days, in these days of email. And that's what we always say about our hobby. It's, it's a very personal thing. It, it brings back uh, intimacy to communication, which we've lost through email and texting. You're looking at my life savings, basically, uh, and I keep it in in this form. It's not in a bank book. It's 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 in this format where I can sit with it and play with it and and see it, and so that gives me pleasure. Uh, that can give me pleasure all day. Uh, it's more fun than you know than than an ATM card. <laughs> And what I like about these things is that, of course, they're, they're utensils, basically. They're instruments, but they're also works of art in themselves. 
by this time, this point in your life, you know what you want to do and what's doable. And uh, we just stay in that zone of comfort, you might say, now and then pushing the envelope here and there, but by just trying to do your best and doing good and doing well, whatever it is you're doing. This is one of the few things that give us extraordinary pleasure. <laughs>